Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms API. Google Forms API allows you to programmatically create, manage and receive form responses. This is an excellent solution for automating processes like creating Google Forms, collecting data and interacting with Google Sheets, all through code. Whether you need to automate form creations for large projects or streamline data handling, the Google Forms API provides the flexibility to do so. So let's follow these steps. The first step is to enable Google Forms API. And to do that, just go to Google Cloud Console, as you can see here, and make sure you log in using your Google account's credentials. After you do that, just create a new project or select an existing one. I'm just gonna select this project I created. Now in the IAPA library, search for Google Forms API and enable it. The second step is to set up the OAuth 2.0 authentication. Now in the Google Cloud Console, navigate to credentials, navigate to credentials, and then set up an OAuth consent screen, then download the credentials as a GSON file. Now for the third step is to install the Google Client Libraries. You can use Google Client Libraries to interact with the API and install libraries using the NPM or PIP for your programming languages. The first step is to create a form programmatically. Use the API to create form by specifying fields, questions, or any other settings. As for the first step, handle responses. Retrieve uh, responses using the API to automate data collection in the Google Sheets or database. And for the sixth and final step, customize the form behavior. You can also add uh, logics such as required fields, specific questions, types, or validation using the API's customization options. And that's it for today's tutorial. Now you can use the Google Forms API to create and manage forms programmatically. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next tutorial.